The Inquisitors were not the major proponents, and they did not actually kill the majority of the people because they were connected with a with a uh, 12th century church academic area that had developed uh, based on uh, Paul's teaching of there's neither Jew nor Greek and all are made in the image of God. And they began to start talking about human rights back then. And and so they began to treat, I mean, just, just the beginnings, to began to treat people more sympathetically and, and see uh, everyone is made in the image of God. And it was just beginning, but it was enough to, to make the Catholic Inquisition stand out from the Protestant people who were promoting the, uh, the witch killings. That's a little bit different. And because there was a, a formal authority structure in the Catholic Church that could be a channel for this teaching to kind of work its way down among the authorities. And there really wasn't one yet within Protestantism. It was still sort of every man for himself in, in, in certain ways, like the Wild West, I guess. So consequently, the, the Spanish Inquisition, which is the most notorious of them, sent virtually no witches to the stake. And those that were convicted, it was after they'd been convicted for the third or fourth time. What did these trials look like? Was it was it actually a trial, or was it like the, the my well, my little thing drowning means innocence? Are they are they yeah, literally yeah. bounding them up and putting them in the lake and seeing if they float? Yeah, you know, it it was stuff like that. When you look at the entire continent of Europe, um, history shows that the uh, those of all the Inquisition though did have this teaching that they were trying to enforce, and they were they were trying to do things that would be more in line with what we would consider a proper trial to look like in questioning witnesses and uh assuming people were innocent until proven guilty and making sure that there's there was enough evidence to actually substantiate the claims uh, and this was this wasn't happening all the time outside of the inquisition people and it wasn't happening all the time with the inquisitors either um because it was just the beginnings of this but to, the only point i want to make here is that there does seem to be really good evidence um that um, the, those who were behind the Inquisition actually laid the foundation, the groundwork, and began practicing the practices that put an end to um, the witch craze about a hundred years before it ended. And people will claim, well, no, it's the Enlightenment people that, that did that. No, it's not. A <laughs> uh, hundred years before any Enlightenment people were involved in trying to get rid of the witch craze to curtail it um they were actively involved in it and i've got lots of evidence of that so the inquisition played a major role in actually ending the witch hunts is the one point that i want to make here um so the does, second does point say, did you does your research say why like what was it was it just the reason side of things or did they see um you know what the just this one area of what we're doing is um We've crossed a line here. Well, I think it was because you had an authority structure where so, there was some sort of control that was lacking on the Protestant side. And that authority structure had been influenced by some really good teaching on human rights that the scholars had come up with in, in the 12th century that was beginning to spread and move its way through. And eventually, so like, is it the inquisitors? Is it the are the inquisitors like saying, you know what, what we're doing over here is okay, but this witch thing that's a line we're not crossing, or is it the whole thing is sort of falling on, falling through this? Uh, it, it wasn't that change. black and white, it wasn't that they completely disagreed with witches being tried or even killed, but far fewer of them were convicted and killed, and they were. Um, they had more fair trials given to them. 